Fairfax County is the largest school district in Virginia, and it's one of the biggest ones in the country with more than 180,000 students. That makes coming up with a plan to return to school a Herculean task. And according to the superintendent, it requires a balance between student safety and learning. The Fairfax County School Board's plan for the upcoming school year presents two scenarios, either attend school with social distancing or a full time online enrollment for the entire year. What happens next, according to Dr. Scott Braband, the school system superintendent, depends on the submitted responses from families and staff across the county and whether there's a preference for one or the other. And then we're going to develop classrooms or sections uh, of virtual instruction and of that face to face instruction. According to the board's initial plan, virtual learning will be provided four days a week, while in-person learning will happen at least two days a week at school. In either scenario, one day each week will be set aside for teacher planning and intervention support for some students. There could even be a scenario in which both virtual and in-person get equal treatment. That 50-50 balance where the 50% the who want to have virtual stay home and the percent who want to be in person could come every day. We can't guarantee that right now. We have to see what the results are. However, Dr. Braband says there's still a possibility of every student going back to distance learning if COVID-19 numbers spike. And if that happens, there's a backup for kids having to head home. We are making plans to make sure that every kid has access to a, a device, a computer at middle and high, and for those who need it at elementary. But with the option of returning to the classroom on the table, numerous health procedures are being put in place, like students and staff being required to wear masks on buses and in classrooms when social distancing guidelines can't be maintained. It's a process that can seem overwhelming to implement for some parents, especially as information about the coronavirus changes frequently. No one has the playbook for return to school this fall. Not one superintendent, one school board. We've looked at other countries um, and everybody's approached it slightly differently. We reached out to parents to get their reaction to these choices. And one mom I spoke with over the phone said she's still scared about the risk in sending her kids back to the classroom. Meanwhile, Superintendent Braband says they'll be sending a follow up letter to parents this week, providing additional details and addressing any other concerns parents may have. Reporting from home, I'm Gio Insignares, WUSA 9.